So we come to number four of the, the whole of the eight form sequence based on the eight brocades, the motion from it with a Pilates, yogic and hypnotic setup with the breathing. Just basically with the motions from that Qigong sequence. And we're just taking the movement and putting it with breathing in breath synchronized fashion, vinyasa in Sanskrit, breath synchronized movement. The breath is different from the traditional Qigong movement. It's not breathing in the belly like a balloon, it's more Pilates breathing with a yogic path on it. So the yogic breathing in there with the Pilates and the hypnotic breath. So a bit of a mixture of the breath. So basically it's just breath to motion. That's all it is. Again, obviously within traditional forms, you go into the meridians, the electromagnetic rivers that link to different organs, etc., different emotions in the body. We're not going that deep. Again, we're just going to go with emotion just in a breath synchronized motion manner vinyasa breath synchronized movement and again that's all it is movement at the end of the day such good movements we can't waste them this is the fourth of the whole eight brocade motion okay a bit of a long-winded name so it's called looking back to eliminate the five fatigues and seven illnesses or wise owl gazes backwards to eliminate fatigue or just wise owl gazes backwards again it varies in different forms and names very similar doesn't really matter it's a nice simple motion and we're going to add that to movement. So again, just do the movement and just feel the goodness come from it. So what we're going to do is start with a breath. We're going to spend a lot of time on the breath and just a little bit on the motion. Okay. So the breathing is, we're not breathing the belly like a balloon, the traditional manner. We're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals, taking the navels towards the spine. Okay. They go together, pelvic floor and corset. So they will naturally happen. Okay. And as you do that, you're going to breathe in through the nose right now and exhale through per lips. And as you do that, you'll feel this breath going low and deep to the lower lobes of the lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, you'll naturally feel that happen. Okay, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go. Because it's not going to the belly button, it's going into these lower lobes of the lungs. So as you do that right now, you'll feel that going low and deep to these fish gills as you're breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips and simply zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, taking your navels towards the spine. As you feel that lovely 3D breath, just coming in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates because as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that helps us use our corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, three layers deep, just segmentally stabilizing the spine, linked onto our pelvic floor. Okay, that muscle face you linked onto the pelvic floor, which all supports the spine. Okay, lovely. So keep breathing to then fish gills wide and full, as though someone's pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go or someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go. Just added width to the lungs and length for the out breath as you blow out that candle through pursed lips. That will naturally work like a cough or sneeze. <coughs> Help you gather in, zip up and hollow, and take the navel towards the spine. So there's a little rip cord around your belly button, pulling in towards the spine. That magnet on the spine, pulling the belly button in. Lovely. So with that, we're gonna go down the yogic path. We're gonna just close the mouth, but carry on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals as you are right now, but breathing out through the nose now because it's a smaller filter through the nose and that helps us lengthen the breath even longer. Whole wheel cycle of the breath is lengthened, okay? The whole wheel cycle of the breath is lengthened. So naturally allow that to happen in a sort of yogic manner, you do this, in and out through the nose, more cleansing breath, filtering breath, for that small, small filter through the nose, and would naturally lengthen the whole wheel cycle. That's what you do in the asanas, and yoga asanas, just lengthen that breath, would naturally happen. Okay, well, one of the yogic breaths that is. Now again, we come back to the yogic path a little bit, but we're gonna 
be aware as you're doing this, as you're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, and taking the navel towards the spine right now, and breathing it out through the nose, you'll naturally feel the out breath, the exhale, want to fall longer than the inhale. Okay, so you'll naturally feel the exhale want to fall longer than the inhale. So simply allow that to happen without even trying or try not to try. And as you do that right now, consciously take your mind to that out breath. Rather than the breath breathe you, you're going to breathe the breath. You're going to be within the breath, that out breath. You're going to consciously elongate that out breath right now. As you do that within your limits, you can have a quadruplet, double it, triple it, longer than the in breath. See what suits you. Okay, but don't force anything. Stay within your limits. And that would naturally bring in what we call the parasympathetic nervous system responses and benefits. So the parasympathetic nervous system is all the things you don't think about. Sleep, digestion, rest and relaxation all being benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. As you do that right now, encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. They're just coming into the nerve system and helping everything feel even more relaxed than it already is. Lovely. Cellular communications improved. Even organ function, etc. All being improved by allowing that simplicity to relax the mind and elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Looking to untie the knots that are bound you. Allowing them chemical cascades of relaxation just to come into the nervous system and help everything feel even more relaxed than it already is. Lovely. Now you can stay with that breath, a little bit of a mixture of the breath there. Or if you can, only if you can, if you don't, if you can't, don't worry, just carry on doing the breathing we're doing. If you want to take it on to a little bit more advanced yogic breath, what we call ujjayi breath in Sanskrit, victorious breath then you can do that right now. So to do that, we're gonna grip the esophagus or we're gonna narrow the esophagus and that's gonna make a soft, sweet, whistling, raspy sound from the back of the throat. So again, as we breathe in, it's like a Keep your shoulders down and we're gonna exhale. It's like going when the mouth shut. It's like a soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, seashore breath, Victorious breath in Sanskrit, Ujjayi breath. Okay, then I've sort of Darth Vader breath. So again, I'll do that so you can hear it. So you're breathing in, you narrow your esophagus. Keep them shoulders down still and exhale. And again, if you can get that, that's great. If you can't, don't worry. Whatever breath you're doing, be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath. As that sort of wheeze that tapestry of relaxation, every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. Lovely. Ujjayi breath stimulates the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat from the body. Helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath. Okay, and again, it's a nice focusing breath. Sort of natural focusing breath we do in everyday life when we're doing a fine motor skill like threading the needle, a bit of DIY, we might make a and again we're just overemphasizing that ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Okay, again that raspy sound, that soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath, like seashore breathing. That a further length from the whole wheel cycle helps stimulate the thyroid gland which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat within the body. Otherwise, just stick to the normal breathing as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, and breathing out through the nose. With ujjayi breath or not, we're gonna link that to the motion. Wiseel gazes backwards to eliminate fatigue, or looking back to eliminate the five fatigues and seven illnesses. So it's a nice simple motion. Again, the name's the most awkward thing on it. So again, breath synchronized motion, vinyasa. Now again, the motion in the actual traditional forms, again, it does vary sometimes. Remember there's 40,000 different forms. 
so they all have different names and slightly different adaptions but it's just a basic motion where you just roll the hands out and look this way you get the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle um levator scapula all the muscles in the neck and your breathing come back and you just turn now again and breathing a lot of them are due to meridians but we're going to go we're going to make it slightly more you can just stick with that as you exhale you turn elongate the exhale longer than the inhale breathing come back or we're going to add a little bit different we're going to add all the different sort of motions with it i'm going to go into the squat a little bit as with all qigong sequences you can go into the squat as deep as you like again sticking with the iyengar yoga principles only going as deep as you keep your knees in line with toes okay if you want to go deeper tailbone deep but otherwise stay up high give me a centimeter a millimeter or a foot only as low as you keep your knees in line with toes okay so again if we add the squat part zip up scoop out your abdominals feet hip width apart not Charlie Chapman, they're facing the front. And all we're gonna do is just this motion, but we're gonna turn here as if we're turning off a skewer. So we're gonna exhale down, breathing, come back up, gathering, exhale, breathing, come back. Okay, and again, come down, knees and nine toes. If you're gonna go deeper, tailbone deep, but only as low as you keep your knees and nine toes here and breathing come back. You get all these rotators or the the rotators in the shoulders, okay? So from here, exhale, come here, breathing come back. Again, only going as deep as you like. It can be a centimeter, a millimeter or a foot. It doesn't matter. Only go as deep as you like. And again, you're getting the rotor cuff muscles, teres minor, and again, Terry's major, infraspinators, supraspinators, all these little rotor cuff muscles are getting turned here, okay? But again, if you want a little turn, if you're turn off a skewer, you can do that. As long as you don't hinder the knees, jam on the knees. Exhale, really elongate this part as you're coming down. Breathing, come back up. Exhale. I like a little turn, a pivot on the foot to save the knees. If you want to bring this in, then you just go, you just turn on the foot, have a little bit of wider stance, and you go, Exhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe in. So you just turn. Same deal, like a lunge, really. No deeper to this lead leg. No deeper than knee line of toe. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Lengthen up to the crown. Gather in. Breathe in, come back. Exhale. Okay, but again, just work with your speed and tempo to make that as easy or as hard as you like. When you exhale, make that motion longer with the breath. So again, you're simply calibrating and synchronizing the breath with the motion. Integrate the breath and the movement. And again, make it unique to you. It might just be standing here, get a little bit of breathing with the motion, a nice simple move. But again, we just made it a little bit more of a gross motor move, bigger motion. And Again, gather in, zip up and hollow, bring in Pilates principles in. All these body systems, yoga Pilates, Tai Chi Qigong, they're all made just to take into whatever you're doing. Um, that's the idea, it's your unit, they're all your unit of your mind and body. So only make these unique to you with the modifications and the breath, rhythm and cadence of the body. So exploit the speed and tempo to make it as easy or as hard as you like. Lovely. So, snakehead swing tail next. That was number four. Number five, snakehead swing tail next. Bang, lovely.